Welcome to the first video of the Wood Harvester Controls mod tutorial series. In this series, I will explain each button, functionality and option from scratch, as well as give you some tips and tricks, so how I have my joystick set up, how to realistically operate the harvesters, and also how to set up the different options to make it work by like Ponce, Komatsu and other harvester brands. The idea behind the mod is obviously to add functionalities that are needed in the game, such as drop the tree, but also to bring forestry simulators that are used to train new operators to anyone, either to play realistically and have some fun, or because you really want to learn, practice and improve to get to work as an operator in real life. The first thing I want to say is that the mod looks advanced, and it is or it isn't, it depends on you. What I mean is that you can actually install the mod and without any setup jump right into the harvester and start playing as usual and then gradually explore the different options and improve in the process. The only thing you need to know is that now with the Y key instead of looping through the different cut lens you open the wood harvester controls menu and then the only thing you need to do is to set up here one number of lens and then type here the exact lens you want to cut. Obviously you can do more than one with different diameters but I will explain that in another video. Another important thing I want to say is that you don't need to use joysticks. You can play with mouse and keyboard or gamepad even realistically and without any help function. Let me show you. You can open with Alt Z, close with Shift Z and hold it to close completely. You can tilt it up and down with, with Shift P. Uh, use the X to round the saw. And different uh, options like feeding forward and backward so let's try to cut this tree uh, more or less realistically I'm not very good with mouse and keyboard because I usually play with joysticks but let's try so you can place the head around here more or less now I can close and then I can apply a little bit of pressure and cut and then I can even feed it a little bit nice so now I, now I have set up the automatic program with close button so I can use that shift set to feed and cut I will explain all of that in another video but I can feed it a little bit so yeah third length like that nice but now it's another lens so maybe I can fit back a little bit move a little bit forward and then make another pile here and then I think this will be bulb wood so I can rotate it even a little bit cut and there we go as you can see it's completely possible and you can make it pretty realistic even with mouse and keyboard and I'm not very good at doing this because I don't use it. So yeah, but obviously if you want to enjoy an experience that is really close to reality and you have the option of having dual joysticks, I highly recommend it, really. It feels pretty close to real life and you can even learn the movements of the brain and all the different options and then jump into a real life harvester and obviously you need to learn the different uh, buttons because you don't have a real joystick in your hand when you are playing farming simulator but at least you know the functions of the head you know that you need to be careful with different things and how to process wood, how to uh, make different pies and so on so yeah if you have the option to buy 
uh, dual joysticks, do it and you will have some fun with it. The last thing I want to say in this introductory video is thank you. Thank you very much for all the support during the development process and for all the positive messages after the official release. And we have also reached 500 subscribers on the YouTube channel. So again, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. In the next video, we will talk about all the input bindings. I will show you visually what each of them does. And I will also show you my personal joystick setup and a little trick with the input bindings. So subscribe so you don't miss it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.